The three subject cantilevered signal gantries I'm highlighting in this video and their three aspect signals were scratch built from styrene sheets and shapes purchased from evergreenscalemodels.com. The beams are plate girders made of flat sheet stock cut and solvent welded into the form you see. I used 30 thousandth inch or 0 .030 inch for most of the beam fabrication. The safety enclosures are made up of various angles, cut sheets, and bars. Once again, it is all styrene. Here's a sketch. The signals were built from pre-wired surface-mounted diodes, SMD, LEDs, purchased from eBay in the appropriate colors. These were glued to thin slices of clear acrylic rod, rough sanded to act as light diffusion lenses. The acrylic discs with the LEDs attached were then glued into the tubes in which they were mounted. The entire signal assembly was painted black before the LEDs were installed. I used 1500 ohm resistors and added more resistance to the green and the yellow LEDs so they were not so overpowering. In other words, I tried to balance the light output by adjusting the resistance on the various aspects. If you like the video, how about giving me a thumbs up? And if you're not subscribed, how about subscribing? Right down there in the right hand bottom corner, if you just click the FH symbol, it'll take you to the opportunity to subscribe.
in order to keep track of and maintain as many signals as I have, I have to be pretty uh, intentional about naming them and uh, charting them and making lists and knowing what signal is connected to what. Um, I've managed to create a fairly complex system and I uh, several, I don't know, maybe it's been a year or so ago, I created uh, diagrams and charts and things so that I could keep track of where everything is, what it's named, and what it's connected to, and how it's controlled. Replacing this Bachmann 66111 with a new Acura scale 66171, I believe, and I'll bring it into frame. I've had absolutely no problems with it so far. I've had it a couple of weeks now. And um, I wanted to replace the Bachmann. Uh, the Bachmann was okay. It, it had some problems. It, it never really ran that well. The sound was good, but um, it there was something funky about the bogeys. I'm, it may have been a, a gently used model and somebody else uh, may have had a problem with it, I don't know. I don't remember. Anyway, I want to uh, replace it, and I am I have replaced it with this 66171. I will be selling uh, the 66111 uh, at some point in the future. I'm going to take it out of the stable. But this Acura scale uh, model is a lovely thing, runs really well. You saw it running in super slow speed. It, uh, it has good sound. I've heard, some, I heard someone say the other day that uh, this is really a Hatton 66. I don't believe that's true. At least the sound is not the same. I'll get it started up here and uh, we'll go from there and see how it runs. It's got he something called heavy train and light, light engine, which I think is kind of nice to have that. I'm gonna run it on heavy train. Got a heavy ballast train here.
Well, let's run a few trains, why don't we?